Repeat this psalm prayer, but don't tell anyone, not even Jesus. When you repeat this prayer correctly, you will start to receive financial blessings and abundance. All your money problems will be solved, and you won't ever need to beg for money. Money will start flowing into your bank account. All your needs will be fulfilled by the highest divine power. This psalm prayer is so powerful that if you follow everything correctly, as I will explain in this video, you will see miracles in life. If you want to change your destiny and manifest anything you want, then watch this video till the end. I will share with you the secret psalm prayer, how to perform it correctly, and why you shouldn't tell it to anyone, not even Jesus. So let's start. The Book of Psalms, found in the Old Testament of the Bible, is a collection of 150 poetic prayers and hymns. Each psalm expresses a range of human emotions, from joy and praise to despair and lamentation. Their timeless relevance lies in their ability to resonate with the human experience across cultures and generations. When it comes to financial blessings, several psalms offer insights and guidance. Psalm 23, for instance, speaks of divine provision and guidance. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Similarly, Psalm 34.10 declares, The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. But for this prayer, we are going to select Psalm 23, but modify it a little bit. Make the psalm personal by inserting your own name or specific financial needs into the prayer. This personalization adds depth and relevance to your prayer, making it more intimate and meaningful. For example, instead of reciting, The Lord is my shepherd, you might pray, Lord, your name, acknowledges you as my provider, and I trust in your abundant provision for my financial needs. And don't assume that saying this will bring financial abundance. As I said earlier, you need to pray correctly. So now, let me teach you how to pray. Before you begin reciting the psalm, find a cozy spot where you won't be disturbed. It could be a corner of your room, a peaceful park bench, or even a quiet nook in your backyard. Once you've found your spot, take a moment to settle in and get comfortable. Now, take a deep breath and let go of any distractions around you. If there are noisy sounds or busy thoughts buzzing in your mind, gently acknowledge them and then let them drift away like leaves on a stream. Allow yourself to sink into a state of calm and tranquility where the only thing that matters is your connection with the divine. With your distractions cleared away, it's time to turn your attention inward. Close your eyes if it helps and bring your awareness to the center of your being. Notice the rhythm of your breath and the gentle beating of your heart. As you tune into these internal sensations, let go of any tension or stress you may be holding onto. As you sit in stillness, take a moment to reflect on your intentions for reciting the psalm. What are you seeking to receive or understand? Is there a specific aspect of your life where you're seeking guidance or support? Allow these intentions to gently float to the surface of your awareness, like bubbles rising in a calm pond. Once you've found a quiet place and calmed your mind, it's time to say the psalm. I want you to say the psalm right now and also write in the comments so that it lets me know that you are doing this correctly. Lord, your name, acknowledges you as my provider and I trust in your abundant provision for my financial needs. As you start, remember to speak each word carefully, showing deep respect for its meaning and power. Let the words sink into your heart as you say them aloud, feeling their significance within you. Imagine each word carrying a special kind of magic that connects you to something greater than yourself. As you recite the psalm, let its rhythmic flow guide you into a state of spiritual connection. Feel the gentle cadence of the words washing over you like a comforting wave, drawing you closer to the divine presence. Allow yourself to be fully present in the moment, surrendering to the wisdom and guidance of the psalm. Let its timeless truths penetrate your consciousness, filling you with a sense of peace, clarity and purpose. As you recite the psalm, it's like reading a story or watching a movie in your mind. 
Close your eyes and imagine what the words of the psalm mean for you. When you close your eyes and imagine the words of the psalm, it's like stepping into a world of possibilities. You're not just saying the words, you're seeing them come to life in your mind. You might see yourself paying your bills without worry, getting a job offer, or finding unexpected help when you need it most. Picture scenes of good things happening, like having enough money to buy what you need, feeling happy and secure, and seeing problems get solved. Imagine yourself in these scenes, feeling confident and hopeful, because you believe in the promises of the psalm. It's like you're taking a walk with faith as your guide, trusting that God will take care of you just like the psalm says. Let these pictures in your mind make you feel excited and hopeful for the good things that are coming your way because you're trusting in God's love and help. Imagine a scene where you're surrounded by all the things you need and want, feeling grateful and happy. See yourself smiling and feeling peaceful because you know that God is looking out for you. These mental images should make you feel hopeful and expectant, knowing that God's love and blessings are always there for you. Visualizing these scenes isn't just about wishful thinking. It's about building your faith and trust in God's promises. When you can see the blessings in your mind, it helps you believe that they're possible in real life too. So, let your imagination run wild and dream big, because with God, anything is possible. It's essential to nurture a deep and unwavering trust in God's ability to provide for your needs. This means firmly believing that God's promises never fail and that his love and care for you are limitless. Even when circumstances seem uncertain or challenging, you can anchor yourself in the assurance that God's provision transcends human understanding. Once you've finished saying and visualizing the psalm, it's time to thank God for all the good things you have in your life. Take a moment to think about everything you're thankful for, both the things you can see and the ones you can't. Maybe you're grateful for your family, your home, or even just the fact that you're alive and healthy. Remember that every good thing comes from God, so it's important to acknowledge His kindness and love. Think about how much joy and abundance He has brought into your life. Even if things aren't perfect, there's always something to be thankful for. Take a moment to appreciate the opportunity you've had to connect with God through the words of the psalm. Recognize that being able to talk to God and ask for His help is a special gift. It shows that He cares about you and wants to be a part of your life. Let your gratitude pour out from your heart. Don't hold back. Feel the warmth and love that comes from being grateful. It's like basking in the sunshine on a beautiful day. As you express your gratitude, you'll find that your heart becomes lighter and your spirit brighter. Gratitude has a way of lifting us up and reminding us of all the good things in life. Now, one important thing to remember is to never share what you want to manifest with others. Don't tell anyone what you are manifesting. When you say it to others, it can sometimes lead to doubt, skepticism, or negativity, from those who may not understand or support your goals. This negative energy can interfere with the manifestation process and dampen your own belief in your ability to achieve your desires. Unfortunately, not everyone may have your best interests at heart. Sharing your manifestations with others can sometimes make you vulnerable to sabotage or envy from individuals who may feel threatened by your success or happiness. Keeping your goals private protects them from potential interference or negativity from others. Now why you shouldn't tell Jesus also? It's because God is omniscient and knows our thoughts and needs even before we express them. In Christian prayer, it's often seen as a means of communication and communion with God rather than informing God of something he doesn't already know. So, whether or not you explicitly express your thoughts and needs during prayer is more about your personal relationship with God and your own spiritual practice rather than informing an omniscient being. If you derive value from this video, please watch the video currently displayed on the screen. Thank you for watching.